new setting. Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back. My name is Nisha and this is my channel, Lose Your Veganity, where I show you tips and tricks on how to live a more compassionate life for the earth, the animals, and yourself. So if any of that interests you, go ahead and click that subscribe button to lose your veganity. It doesn't hurt at all and it only takes a second. And for clarification on what my channel name really means or for frequently asked questions, check out the links below. So today we're in a different setting. We are in my kitchen and it's the first week of September, first full week of September. And what is so special about September, you ask? Well, September is the month that I grace the world with my presence, and so it is a very special month. I'm looking everywhere because I thought I just saw a spider. So I thought it'd be really fun for my birthday, for the month of September, to put out a recipe every week that's like something that I really, really flip in love. And I've gotten a lot of questions about my frequent jackfruit use. And since the jackfruit company didn't want to sponsor this video, I mean, I didn't ask them. I wanted to be real. Also, I just forgot to... Trader Joe's has started stocking jackfruit, like canned jackfruit. I don't have the cans with me right now, but I'll insert a picture. And for all those of you wondering, what do I do with this? How do I make delicious food out of it? I am here to help all of you. So today I thought it was fun. It's Labor Day and I don't know. I love this recipe. I actually first had it with Hannah McNeely. She's really sweet. She has a YouTube channel. Check it out below. And she made it and it was like so mind-blowingly good. It was like so much better than the ones I have ever bought in the pack, like the Uptons. I've told you guys, sorry Uptons, I do not like their jackfruit. It is super vinegary, but the ones that Hannah made were so good. So I'm going to attempt to make them right now. I'm going to be making some barbecue jackfruit ciders for all of y'all. And if you have a Trader Joe's near you, you can 100% make this recipe. I just wanted to point out that you do not have to get your jackfruit at Trader Joe's. You can get it at a health food store. You can get it at a Mexican grocery, an Asian grocery, world market, online, on Amazon. Just make sure you get the young jackfruit, not the fully ripe jackfruit or the jackfruit in syrup because then it will taste very weird. Instead of doing like a fully rehearsed recipe, I thought I would cook for you guys live. So let's get into the video. This is me the day before. I'm taking the cans of jackfruit that I have. You want it soaked in brine or water, not syrup. And I'm opening them up, whoops, and pouring out the contents into a colander. Then you're going to take each piece and take out the little hard seeds and the hard middle parts that don't split into meaty looking pieces. Then give them a good rinse and a good massage to make sure that the fruit meat is tender. Put your massaged meat into a bowl filled with filtered water and let it sit for 24 to 48 hours in the fridge. So now I'm going to take, now I'm supposed to take this, this jackfruit that's been soaking in filtered water for 24 hours. I'd say uh, two days is like the best, but ain't nobody got time for that. And this is the jackfruit that I picked out all the seeds and the stems. Pick out the seeds and stems. So now I'm gonna drain it and try to press out all the water and then, and then we're gonna mix the spice mixture, ingredients listed below, and it's supposed to be like a dry rub. It would be better if you had let that marinate like overnight or if you did all this ahead of time, kept it in a Ziploc bag, and then threw it all together last minute the day of, but I don't think that far ahead of time in the future, so help me God. Okay, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go squeeze a squeeze. Hi, I'm back. So it should kind of look like dry shredded chicken, and yeah, now I'm gonna mix it in with this dry rub. We'll see what happens. The reason I'm doing this like live for you guys because I've really never made this before and I kind of wanted to test this recipe, I believe the recipe is originally from The Minimalist Baker. I didn't want to take credit, one, take credit for the recipe. Ooh, it looks like Christmas. I don't know why I said that. And two, I didn't want to put out a recipe out there that I hadn't tested or kind of knew it was gonna work out. Now I'm just giving this meat a little squeeze. I remember before I was vegan, I would always like look at vegan meat substitutes and I'd be like, oh my gosh, why didn't you just eat the real thing? And now I'm like, it's made out of a plant, not a dead body. How is that more gross? It's really funny like how I was like socially conditioned to think that a plant is more gross than a dead body part in my mouth. So weird, so weird. Okay, I'm back. Is what it should look like. Doesn't it kind of look like shredded beef? Jackfruit, more like jacked fruit. Get it? Because meat is a muscle. Okay, go ahead and subscribe. But now we're gonna put the meat in. This is my favorite skillet, this willing skillet. I'll add another card up here in a link below that talks more about what kind of pan I use for non-stick cooking. So I'm gonna add the jackfruit to the pot. 
I'm gonna pace awkwardly around my kitchen looking for a utensil. Here, found one. Is it worth it? Let me work it. Should we change angles? Okay, I'll miss you guys. So now we're gonna add about a fourth a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. I like the Annie Sweet and Spicy Barbecue because that was what I was recommended. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. okay. Turn it on, medium heat. I mean, come on. Do you hear that Nami sizzling? Okay guys, uh, well that is cooking. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna dress it, okay? I don't know, I'm talking like that. Now, I got one of these Sperlonga, Superlonga. I got a roll at the supermarket that's vegan. And, um, I mean, most rolls at the supermarket are vegan unless it's like a dessert roll, then usually it is buttered on top like a brioche. But anyways, Gotta roll, gonna slice it in half, gonna put the meat on the sandwich, and we're gonna eat it. Then I'm going to have some white onion because where I grew up in Texas, we'd always have barbecue beef with white onion slivers on top and purple cabbage because that's how we used to eat it when I grew up. Whatever floats your boat, honey, put it on there. Now time to assemble the sandwich. Let's go. I also decided to add some like avocado mashed up. I mean, it's purely for like aesthetic reasons and this booty ain't gonna get thick all by itself. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag booty gains. Is there anything better than the smell of bread? No, no, there is not. Now I have to concentrate because I have to make sandwich for Instagram and it has to be very pretty. Otherwise no one will watch this video, okay? I mean, come on. This is the most gorgeous flippin' sandwich I have ever seen in my life. Okay, it's been photographed and I'm gonna try it. It's so hard to photograph sandwiches, I don't think it turned out. All right, I'm gonna try it. That is so awesome. Whoa, that's insane. That might be like the best thing I've ever eaten in my whole life and it was really not that hard. Okay, everybody, I hope you guys liked the video. Please let me know if you guys tried this recipe out. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy this whole month of September. I'm gonna show you all my favorite things to cook. I hope you guys are well on your way to eating more plants and losing your veganity, and I hope to see you guys in a new video very soon. Bye! What do you eat? What about me? What about protein? What about cheese? Can you eat fish? Do you eat this? Would you eat that? Are you anemic? What do you eat? What about me? What about protein? What about cheese? Can you eat fish? Do you eat this? Would you eat that? Are you anemic? I got my grub.